Serial number two, Sacred Heart Higher Secondary School. All the best. You may start. Greetings everyone, respected judges, teachers, and friends. I am Mom John Dutui, and my partner here is Sojohan Purung Aungshi. Robotic engineering. Robotic engineering is a branch of engineering focused on design, construction, and operation of robots. It combines mechanical, electrical, and computer science to create machines that can work automatically without or assist humans. So, today I'm presenting a project that could change the way we think about healthcare, especially in places like ours. The title of my project is DocBot, an autonomous robotic doctor for emergency care. In our Danko society, we face many challenges. Our villages are beautiful but remote. We have poor roads, weak communication, and very few hospitals. Sometimes, reaching a doctor takes hours and emergencies. Those lost minutes can cost lives. That's where DocBot comes in. It is designed to bring medical help directly to the people, even in the most difficult places. DocBot is not just a robot. It's a doctor designed by artificial intelligence. It can diagnose illnesses, monitor patients' vital signs, clean wounds, give CPR, and even dispense medicines, all without human help. It's like having a doctor who never sleeps, never dares, and never delays. DocBot has AI-powered diagnosis, robotic arms, sensors, and real-time decision-making. For us, the Danko people, this means emergency medical care can reach even in the remotest hill village where no hospital or doctor is available. During landslides, accidents, or sickness in rural areas, dog bots can be the first to respond and save lives. Hence, healthcare makes, it makes healthcare more faster, cheaper, and more reliable. It can serve 24 hours a day and reach people in remote villages without depending on roads or electricity. By using DocBots, we can also reduce the crowding in hospitals and help doctors focus on serious cases. It also inspires our youth to dream big, to see that even from these hills of Ukru, we can create technology that helps the world. Of course, there are challenges. We need to ensure safety, data accuracy, and people's trust. But by combining AI, Internet of Things, and Danku language support, the DocBot can truly understand and serve our community. It can even be designed to walk through our mountains, fly like a drone, or dive in water during floods to deliver medical supplies. My vision is simple. One day, no Danku person should die just because help couldn't reach in time. With DocBot, healthcare can travel beyond barriers of distance and development. This project is not just about machines, it's about humanity, equality, and hope. DocBot is technology with a heart. It can transform emergency care, empower rural healthcare, and move our people from isolation to innovation. Robotic engineering is not just my dream, but my mission. Robots are not just machines, they are the future, and I want to be the part of it. Thank you. Very futuristic indeed. Uh, here is your first question. What is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning? What is the difference between artificial intelligence and machine learning? Artificial intelligence is a type of machine that can learn, that can, is created so that it can mimic human actions like thinking, cre thinking, cre thinking and also do the actions that humans do. But machine learning is a type of programming where a, where a robot can learn an action by doing it repeatedly. Second question. 
what are the advantages and disadvantages of using artificial intelligence? Some advantages of using artificial intelligence are a faster way to calculate things, like when we are trying to find new kinds of things. Secondly, um, we can also use AI to uh, improve healthcare. But some advantages are it can be biased in some cases where the data can be of not good quality or I should say it is, it is not real or false data. Secondly, there's ethical concerns that AI could take over jobs of people. Third question, in remote areas where there is no electricity, how do you plan to use these dog bots? We plan to use Stockbot by incorporating solar power where, and it will also have a center. And in such places, it will have a certain radius under which it will work. We are trying to implement in a way that it is connected to a bracelet or a type of app where if you send an emergency signal, then it will detect it. We are thinking of a radius of about 3.5 kilometer. Okay, can you explain, uh, explain what is solar energy? Solar energy is a form of energy that is derived from sunlight. Well done. That was a good presentation. Can you please explain the working principle of DocPot? The working principles of DocPot are based on AI diagnosis so that we make it, it can detect all kinds of things inside the human body that is presently happening and it can give a more accurate it can give a more accurate diagnosis of the person. Secondly, robotic arms. These robotic arms are meant for doing minor works or doing uh, pregnancy, during pregnancy when it is far away from the hospital, it can also perform delivery. Second, uh, thirdly, it is also included, it also has It is also powered with sensors that can monitor the patient's vital signs and do changes according to the patient, uh, patient's situation. All right. Mm. How confident are you that your AI dogbot will not make errors in its analysis and give you accurate diagnosis? I am sure that this robot can, some ha can has some faults in the early stages, but as human develops, new technologies, those risks can be reduced. Are you confident enough to allow the doctor to perform surgeries on you instead of a very good doctor? With our current technology, no, but in the future, yes, I might. Okay, and I also uh, understand that internet connection is required for operating this robot. So, will it be feasible in places like our area where there is frequent uh, network issues? There we can use quantum, quantum sensors, which are based on the principles of quantum entanglement, where it will be interconnected even over long distances and does not require GPS connection. Very well, thank you.